Hey everybody, welcome back to another day in the channel. Today we're not in the garage, we're in the kitchen because we have an issue with this thing. So, let's talk about this. So, this thing has had some problems. This being the exact problem. Uh, this dishwasher got a little hot for some reason, whatever it was, this was not spinning, it melted, the disc melted. So after owning it a few weeks, we filed a warranty claim and we've gotten a couple parts in, but we can't get all the parts. Aside from that, the wife doesn't even trust it anymore. She doesn't even want to run it. So today we're going to replace this with one I found at a bargain bin somewhere else. So join me as we do house maintenance today. Okay, well warranty was pretty quick to get somebody out here. They looked at it, they gave me the replacement part. One thing they couldn't get me a replacement part on quickly was this housing right here. It did melt into the housing a little. It hasn't affected it at all, but it did melt it. So what I'm gonna do is just put in a different dishwasher and I'll sell this one to make up the cost. Um, yeah, that's uh, I guess a Frigidaire design. I don't know why, but it's how they're designed. So let's go ahead and pull this one and then we're gonna work on the scratch and dent and we're gonna get the dents out of it and get it installed. Here is our lovely scratch and dent that we picked up at the local big box store. Uh, as you can see, we've got quite the dent in it, so we're gonna open it up and figure out how to get in there. And then we'll straighten it out. All right, we got our dented panel off. We've got to figure out if we can straighten it up. It's clearly missing the uh, corner bits. I was hoping we're in there. There it is. Found it. There's the inside of the dent. It's kind of on a crease, but I think we can work with it. Get the old hammer and dolly out and see what happens. All right, well, I'm no body guy, but I'm going to go ahead and try to flatten this seam. I'm going to use this micro fiber to keep me from scratching it. It's pretty thin sheet metal, so I shouldn't have to hit it too hard. Well, it's as good as my body work gets. We're gonna live with it. Check out this plumbing, see if we can get it hooked up. Pull the hoses through while I do this, but they'll bind up. All right, now we can hook up our plumbing. Check this, because it looks crooked. It's not. That's level. So I'm gonna raise the whole thing up now. Okay, and then we'll turn on everything, put some screws in the top, and we'll test it out. Water pressure hooked up. I got my drain lines hooked up. First thing I wanna do is just make sure I don't have water leaks. Not seeing any water leaks, everything looks good. So the next step would be to power it on and test run it. Make sure there's no leaks. I don't know how to power this on, so I'm guessing. Well, this is ran and we don't see any leaks. We've let it run through a complete cycle, both wash and dry, and I don't see any issues or anything that we should be afraid of. So we're gonna run it, we'll get rid of the old one, and we'll call Project Dishwasher a success. Anyway, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next project.